mediocre life. Yes, love it, Ezra. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my Solar System Legacy Challenge. This is episode 30. We are here with Maisie who is just doing a little bit of crafting at the moment. It's actually Wednesday evening. I played most of Wednesday off camera, but honestly nothing exciting really happened. And I decided to start the episode this evening instead of tomorrow because I am expecting Ezra to get a promotion. He is right here and he's got that little gold tick ready and if he does that it will be completing his resolution for the year that he set himself so i'm hoping that he's gonna get that and maisie has just finished herself some crafts um so i'm gonna have her come over and grab some leftovers as she's quite hungry we still we still have to buggy dinner oh my goodness well we want to get through it so she's gonna come and grab herself some of that and let's put these over here. Oh, look at those, her little wintry crafts that she's done. And Ezra has ah. just got his promotion. He's not looking too happy about it. And oh my goodness, Ben was there. They did not give each other a very nice look, but Ben is actually coming over to knock on the door. Um, he's a little bit bored. He's not looking too happy. And Ezra has just walked straight past him to grab, her, uh, grab a cookie. That's a little bit awkward. I guess he's ignoring Ben. <laughs> I feel bad for Ben, but obviously we heard that Ben has kind of moved on and Ezra's feeling a little bit awkward about it. But he is feeling happy because he was able to do his promotion. But I noticed that he is once again feeling mental fog. He's starting to feel a bit of burnout. You've been in this job for two days and he's already started to feel this way. And he also has a mediocre life. There's not really much in the way of big accomplishments in Ezra's life right now, nor is there much to boast about. It's not dire, but maybe he should spend some time doing some fulfilling activities to improve his quality of life. So yeah, he's he's feeling like he's not really doing anything with his life. Oh my, why do people keep doing this? This is so creepy, go away. But as we know, Ezra can't actually get promoted again. So he is a dance team captain at the moment. Moment. and I feel like maybe he's just like I enjoy dance um and I know it's like a form of fitness and stuff but this really isn't what I thought being in the active like athletic career would be like I didn't expect it to go down this route first I was wearing a really goofy mascot costume and now I'm a dance team captain like that just doesn't feel right so I feel like he will probably do a couple of shifts maybe he'll work well no he's taken friday off so and then he's gonna want to take the weekend off so <laughs> we will see we'll see how it goes we know he can't actually get promoted again so i'm gonna have to try and work out a way for him to like want to quit his career but this mental fog has come at a perfect time of course it's inconvenient for like his life but it works for our story because he's like this isn't really what i wanted to do this isn't how i thought the athlete career would turn out and speaking of resolutions Maisie does still have hers to do she has got four days to do it but realistically she's only got until friday and all she needs to do is learn to ride her bike so ezra has agreed with Maisie that um after school he will take her to the recreation center and that she will learn that bike she will learn how to ride that bike he is off work tomorrow so he doesn't have to worry about getting home late or anything like that he will be there ready for her at three o'clock to teach her to ride that bike and she will get it done even though ezra is quite tired the neighbors are arguing so he can't go to sleep so i am gonna send him on a jog because that is something that he wants to do and hopefully that will make him feel a little bit better about his um his mediocre life that he's got he's also feeling tense oh from the noisy neighbors okay that that makes sense i was worried that was something else going on Maisie is feeling tense from it as well but she is also feeling angry about it she's like I need to go to sleep because I've got school tomorrow and they're keeping me up and it's actually um Isabella's family so I wonder if she's having I, well I don't know it's her dad and her brother live there so I'm not too sure what's going on and that she's probably a bit annoyed you know she's like I hope Isabella's all right she's frustrated that they're like keeping her up and everything but it's probably a bit too late to message her and we don't really want to invite her over to chat um so once we are ready we are gonna send her straight off to sleep i keep checking it but it's still grayed out amazing Maisie has just mastered her creativity skill 
That is so good. So the only one that she didn't master was the mental skill, which is really interesting, actually, because she has been very smart and she is a bit of a brainiac. Um, so this is the one skill that she didn't actually max. Ezra is up this morning. It's half six and he's going off to make some breakfast for Maisie. She will probably also wake up and go to use the bathroom and go and take a shower. Today is actually her last day of school because tomorrow she'll be taking a vacation day to celebrate her birthday. Ezra's got like a little thought bubble with his face and a line through it. So he's really not happy. He is feeling really sad. Oh my goodness, Valerie's got grey hair. No, she's aged up. Oh, I would definitely have to give her a makeover because I feel like she definitely wouldn't want to be grey. She would definitely dye her hair black. Oh my goodness, Valerie's an elder. That makes me sad. I know we've still got ages left because of my lifespan. Elders do live for quite a while, but it's still sad that she is in the last stage of her life. Oh my goodness. But Ezra, being Ezra, has once again woken up with a want to ask out Lucy and to do something romantic. Um, so I do think we're not going to be romantic. We're still not being romantic. We still don't know what's going on with her and um, Paul. But he does want to see her again. And they did have a really good day the other day. So he's like, um, yeah, I'm going to ask if she wants to meet up again today. I'm going to see if she wants to hang out for a little bit. I've not got work today, so it'd be good to see her. And Ezra finished breakfast just in time for Maisie. She has got half an hour before she has to go to school. So luckily she's not going to school hungry. Oh my goodness. And he's doing the washing up for once. Yeah, he's definitely, um, he's like, oh my God, I can't believe you're going to be aging up. Let me do all the jobs. You you relax, you're going to be the birthday girl tomorrow. And he just wants to try treat her and she's in such a good mood and it, yeah I can't believe I know I keep saying it but like I just I can't believe she's gonna be a teenager I feel like she has just been born I feel like she's still an infant but we've had her for as a child for so long yeah I feel like it's just flown by and she's gonna be a teenager but she is off to school now so Ezra is gonna go and use the bathroom and then they give Lucy a call and see if she wants to hang out Ezra and Lucy have made it to Newcrest and once again Elodie is here of course but Newcrest is just outside of the city and they thought they'd come and you know grab a coffee and spend a bit of time with each other um, it looks like Lucy's just going to centre with us, which is really sweet. But we are going to come in and I think we're just going to come and sit and chat over here with each other. I would get them to get a coffee, but it's just it's just too stressful in this game. And Malia is here as well. They're both looking really sad. What's going on with them? If we get the chance, I'll have Ezra ask Elodie or Malia what is the matter. But at the moment, he is busy with Lucy and he's just having a chat with her. He's going to brighten her day. And yeah, he's just... He's just enjoying it, spending it time with her again, even if he wants to make a move and ask her for a small loan. We do actually have a loan payment to make, but we're a little bit short, so um, we're going to be able to pay that tomorrow after he gets paid. Um, so yeah, we will definitely get to pay it off, but he's a little bit stressed apparently because he's like thinking about asking her for a loan but we're not going to do that um kiss talk about with his style but i do think because he's been spending a bit of time with her he's probably going to speak to her about Maisie and say that it's her birthday tomorrow and see if she wants to come along he's proposing a crazy idea like she's gonna become a teenager tomorrow so i know you really didn't like the idea of having a kid and everything but she won't be a kid anymore she'll be a teenager so what do you think about you know, maybe seeing her and, I mean, she's talking about kids. Um, She's telling an engaging story. But I think maybe she's like, I mean, I do think if she's getting older, I can't go my whole life not knowing my child. But I just feel like it'd be so awkward for me to suddenly turn up out of the blue at uh, her birthday party with all of the rest of her family. I don't think that's fair for her. But, you know, she is getting older and I do I do want to get to know her a little bit. Um, as you say, she'll be a teenager. She won't be like, you know, a child or anything like that. I feel like she's going to be careful with what she says because she finds children annoying. But she doesn't really want to call Maisie annoying when A, she doesn't know her and B, she doesn't want to offend Ezra. But Lucy, can you sit down, please? So I think these two are discussing maybe seeing if Maisie wants to meet up with Lucy when she ages up. And Lucy actually looks pretty happy.
happy about that. So I feel like maybe she has been thinking a little bit more. Like she knows her daughter's out there. She just didn't want to be a mom, which is completely fair. But now she's getting older, she's like, maybe I could have a relationship with her. Maybe I could give her a chance, especially as she's becoming, you know, more friendly with Ezra again. So maybe Lucy will want to be a part of Maisie's life. But we're also going to have to have a chat with Maisie and find out if Maisie wants Lucy to be in her life. But it looks like Lucy is actually heading off now. She is pretty tired and Ezra is going to order food. You don't need to order food. Please don't order food. But Elodie and Malia are still here. So we're going to come over and we're going to try to cheer her up and we're going to see what is up. And we should probably also tell her why we were once again with Lucy. Um, But yeah, Lucy was clearly tired. So she decided to head off early. So we're going to try and see what is, what is bothering Elodie. Cause she's very sad right now. Elodie is actually feeling confident now. So I don't think she's going to tell us why she was feeling very sad before. So maybe we'll come over. She's feeling happy from freedom. Freedom from what? Small, tiny cups. <laughs> okay. But Malia is over here and she is still feeling sad. So we're going to come over and we're going to give her a hug and just check in with her and see why she She's upset because I want to know what's bothering these two. He's of course decided to get himself a mocha. It's not very good quality though. And Orson's here. Orson's decided to come along and he is um she's feeling she's feeling happy. Okay, well she's got a fulfilled life and she's surrounded by friends, but still not telling us why she's sad. But Orson is feeling sad. So let's come and see if he can tell us what is going on in this family. Also, Orson, why aren't you at school? You should definitely be at school right now. I do appreciate that Ezra keeps putting his family in good moods, but it means I'm never gonna find out what's the matter with them because Orson is now feeling fine. He's not sad anymore. So I mean it's sweet that Ezra is making everyone feel really happy but yeah I'm never gonna find out what's upset them all. Ezra has decided to come back to the city considering the fact Lucy left and then Elodie and Malia left and Orson was there but I feel like he was probably gonna leave any minute so we've decided to come to the rec centre so that we're here ready for when Maisie finishes school and he is just gonna do a little bit of working out it always puts him in a good mood and obviously he was feeling like he's not really done very much in his life so his way of coping with things is exercise and yeah that's what he's gonna do he's gonna do some heavy lifting until Maisie gets back from school and then we're gonna bring her straight here and work on that bike riding Maisie has finished school so Ezra is gonna come over and he's gonna come and teach her how to ride a bike I've got her in her cold weather clothes today so she doesn't freeze and I'm hoping that Ezra will change as well otherwise I'll have to he's not he's not not changed he's staying in his workout clothes if he starts to freeze i'm gonna change him as well but for now he's coming over to give her a hug he's like oh i hope you had a nice day there's also and he clearly didn't go to school but he came back to the city at least um and we are gonna see he's like come on it's your birthday tomorrow you've gotta learn to ride this bike so we are getting this done today he's firing her up so that she is completely ready and she's so excited oh my goodness it looked like it actually remembered her progress this time last time it didn't and we had to start again and i was worried we would as well but it looks like she's already almost finished so she should definitely definitely get this learn like as soon as possible this is gonna happen straight away she managed it you wouldn't think so by how she was just on that bike but she learned how to ride her bike she's feeling so confident now that she can do that she's completed that milestone and she's completed that resolution because she is now onto the next part of her aspiration um, so if we can get this mental skill up, we might even be able to get this done. So she is at the moment, she, oh, she's decided to get off the bike and put it's cycling by itself. Oh, <laughs> Melissa, but I'm going to have her come back over and I think I'm going to have her come upstairs. Oh, it looks like Emma's on this. That's annoying. Maybe we can come over and distract Emma so that we can have a go on the science table and get that mental skill up. Yeah. Ezra decided to do a bit more working out as he's feeling energized and he is having an unhappy life. Ezra's life seems to be on a little bit of a downward spiral. Maybe not enough wants are being fulfilled or maybe some bad events have caught up with him. Either way, it's time to act to stop Ezra's life from getting any worse. To improve Ezra's quality of life, try completing some ones, getting into a new relationship or job or even trying for that promotion. Bless him. So he is really, really struggling. I do think this is probably cause for him to want to quit his job eventually. But for now, obviously, as I normally do, I'm going to make the most of these vacation days. 
Um, so he's going to take them off, take the whole weekend off, essentially. And if he's not feeling better by the time he's supposed to go back in Tuesday, I will have him quit his job. And we already knew that he wanted to get into a relationship. So this is just even more of a reason for him to try and find someone. And I believe it should actually be the romance festival on Saturday night because they're every two weeks. I mean, there wasn't one last weekend, so there should be this weekend. So potentially he can go to the romance festival either by himself or you can see if anyone wants to go with him and see if he can find someone there because he really does want to get into a relationship he wants to do something romantic and what about a chance then at the romance festival itself amazing she got her mental skill to level six so now she just needs to go 12 hours without a negative need emotion so i think we're going to head home so she can sort out her needs and then hopefully overnight she won't get any negative um, need moodlets or anything like that and she'll be all right. But it is nine o'clock. So yeah, it's probably a good time to be heading home anyway. She's reached logic level three. Oh, that's so good, Maisie. Well done. Ezra is just making some dinner and Maisie is, um, she's doing her best to help. She is joining cooking, but of course that's just her way of telling him exactly what to do, even though he is a competent chef. It isn't popping up now, but it sometimes pops up when he does some cooking. Um, and she is, she's just hungry. So she's like, yep, dad, that's exactly what to do. That's exactly how to cook that on a giri. It's excellent quality. And we've got extra portions because that's a thanks Maisie for helping us out with it. Maisie is so tired, bless her. She is heading off to sleep now. I have set up the birthday party for tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So she will be aging up then. We're gonna be throwing the party at the bowling alley because it was really fun when we went before. And I feel like it'd be a nice birthday party for her. Ezra isn't overly tired tired at the moment so I'm not too sure what I want him to do he does want to do something romantic and play basketball we can't do anything romantic at the moment but he can come downstairs and maybe play a little bit of basketball I know it's the middle of the night in winter so maybe not the best idea but he is struggling right now he's not feeling great so I feel like I want to do what I can to make him feel a little bit better and you know he's not the best at making decisions so he's like i feel awful i just want to play basketball and so that is what he's going to do and now he's back to having a mediocre life yay a mediocre life yes love it ezra <laughs> he is feeling a bit better about it though he's not feeling sad he's feeling fine he's like okay things maybe aren't as bad as i first thought they were but you know not everything's great i still have a few things i need to work out but you know it's not the worst it's not the end of the world i have done all right for myself i've got um a nice apartment my daughter's aging up i've done really well with her like she is it turned out incredible and so he's like you know reflecting it's not as bad as it first seemed but you know he's still got a few things that he can work on he's still not happy in this job it's not what he thought it was going to be and he does still really want to get into a relationship so that is something that we are going to work on Maisie has woken up on her birthday she's feeling so angry she is calling in to take a vacation day maybe she's angry because she's like it's my birthday and i still woke up at 6 a.m that's so annoying <laughs> she's coming over to oh she's i was worried she was going to destroy her dollhouse but instead she's taking out her anger in a better way she's feeling now inspired from playing with the dolls instead bless her the last time that she'll probably play with these dolls because she'll be a teenager and now she's angry thinking about it she's like oh i want to enjoy these dolls but they're not doing what i want them to do i do remember when i was a kid and i stopped like enjoying playing with dolls i wanted to and i was like this just isn't fun anymore but then there's me it's still playing sims completely fine which is basically just a dollhouse computer game so i don't know how that works you you make it make sense <laughs> but Maisie's very similar she's like these dolls they're not doing what I want them to do they're not fun anymore but she'll still quite happily play video games but yeah she's not she's not happy she's like smashing them down and giving them dirty looks and Ezra once again is having an unhappy life he's feeling really gloomy this morning he's woken up feeling pretty sad and he is thinking about things so he is just not he's just not secure with his emotions and his mental health at the moment he is just very very up and down very wobbly he's just one moment he's okay one moment he's not and he's just yeah he's struggling a little bit maybe Ezra is also a bit sad because he knows that Maisie is aging up today and she won't be his 
seemed like little baby girl for very much longer so that's probably also contributing to his mood i am gonna have him come over though and pair a birthday cake for her so let's see is there a nice one that we could do for her her needs are really really good and she does want to build a snow pal so i might see if she wants to come downstairs and build a snow pal it is a blizzard so i don't know how long she's gonna be out here for but she has also just completed her second aspiration she is running against this wind oh my goodness but she has she's done two aspirations so she is also headstrong focused and confident moodlets will last for longer oh she's so good she's completed two whole aspirations as a child oh no we didn't pay our payment on time i thought we had two days to do it i think it was 24 hours, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so Ezra didn't get his loan payment in on time. Make a payment soon to relieve the stress and avoid additional late fees. We actually can't until we get paid later. Um, We're going to come and put these birthday candles on and then I am going to let him cry in bed because he's feeling a little bit stressed. He's quite tense because he didn't pay his uh, payment in time. So how much is the additional? It still says 875 but... I thought we had to pay a bit more because we're late. So maybe it'll come out afterwards. But yeah, he's just going to have a bit of a cry because he's been a little bit sad this morning. Maisie is so unfazed that it's a blizzard right now. She loves the snow. She loves being outside in the cold. She is having a great time with the snow pile. She doesn't even have any gloves on. Her hands must be freezing. But she loves it. and She's having a great birthday morning so far while her dad is not having a great time. He's He stopped crying and he's <laughs> he's going to have a brownie instead for less <laughs> Look, here is Maisie's snow pal. Oh, I love it. She has decided to come inside now because she's like, yeah, it's actually pretty cold and I don't want to get unwell on my birthday. She wants to become focused, win a competitive game and go snowboarding. Um, I don't really know how many of those we can do. So for now, I think we're going to come and watch this movie with our dad. He is watching... Mm, maybe we shouldn't watch Cinder with him. I feel like that's probably a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> she's just going to finish this monster painting, but she didn't quite get done it yesterday. Um, so she She's gonna do that because her dad is not really watching an age appropriate film this morning. Um, Maisie has decided to come over and make a mess. So she is acting out because she is aging up. She's like, I'm not a kid anymore. And she's like, I don't know. I can't understand why she would be doing this. So he is coming over to ask her not to do that. And he is saying, he's crying about it. Ezra, that's not a good look. Don't cry after telling her off. And then she just giggles, honestly. Come and influence her to clean up the mess be like look you're getting older now you need to clean up after yourself you should know better than making a mess you're you're aging up today you should not be throwing pain all over the floor and she's decided to do it again Maisie you've literally just cleaned up your other mess so Ezra is gonna come over and be a bit more firm this time and express some disappointment like Maisie you've just stopped doing that before and cleaned it up and now you're doing it again and he is going to be a little bit disappointed in her. And that will actually contribute to this, which I haven't intended before. But he's like, Maisie, come on, you know better than this. Can you please clean it up? We're going in 20 minutes. We have made it to the bowling alley for Maisie's birthday. Her friend Jenna has aged up and I have not given her a makeover yet. So she's looking a little bit funky. But oh, she's given a hug to Craig. And are they supportive? Yes, definitely. And she's like, hi, granddad. It's so good to see you again. And look how cool Ezra looks. Oh my goodness. He's definitely getting a bit more buff. His shoulders are getting a lot more broad from all of that working out. But we're waiting for a few more family members to arrive. It's Valerie as an elder, as you can see. I still have not given her that makeover yet. But you know what? She's kind of rocking the grey, actually. So I kind of might keep it. I feel like maybe she's the sort similar to um Grace in my other series in my crybaby that you know maybe she saw a grey hair and she's like right I'm just gonna go completely grey and she's dyed it all grey. <laughs> I love that. I might keep it. I might keep it but I am gonna have everyone form a group and then we're gonna come downstairs and we're gonna start doing a well do you wanna bowl first or do you wanna age up Maisie first? I think I kinda wanna age up Maisie first and then we'll do some bowling. Maisie has made it surrounded by family and they're all here to celebrate oh my goodness and she is aging up oh my goodness look at them all celebrating this is where valerie turned into a teenager as well and now her granddaughter is becoming a teenager here and look at all this family that loves her she is a little bit spoiled but 
Oh, I love her. She has managed to get high self-esteem, which makes perfect sense. I have been thinking about what trait I want to give her and the last required trait she needs for her generation is ambitious, but she can't have that until she's a young adult. So we need to give her another one. And I am thinking I want to give her geek because she's been really into video gaming. She gets so competitive. So I really, I want to give her the geek one. And as for aspiration, I'd like to give her a teen one for now. And she would definitely be goal oriented. She is a perfectionist. I will be giving her a makeover, but this is our lovely Maisie. She's so cute. Oh my god, she's such a cutie. I'm gonna hop straight into Cass and give her a makeover, but she's so adorable. And here is our gorgeous Maisie as a teen. She is kind of posing at the moment, and Ethan was taking a selfie, but she is so adorable. She is walking out of shot, of course she is, but look how cute she is. Oh, I love this, and I love this dress on her. I really want her to take a selfie. Um, oh, she likes compliments. <laughs> okay, fair enough. To be fair, that makes sense. I was just saying that she um, she likes to be spoiled. She's always been spoiled. <laughs> um, so it makes sense that she quite likes the attention. But I wanted her to take a selfie with Esme now that both teenagers. But as it is her bowling birthday party, Maisie is having a go at bowling for the first time. And of course she tries to show off and basically gets a strike. And look at that. Oh my goodness! Didn't Ezra do that dance move the other day? Oh, I love that so much. She is doing it with Esme, Orson, and Jorge. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it with loads of Sims. Um, we could only do it with three others, so I have tried to set up some other games. So I've got Elodie, Eleanor, Ethan, and Elliot over here. And then Ezra is doing it with his parents and oh, Elodie. <laughs> um, and yeah, Ezra is, you know, he was doing this the other day. And then there goes Esme. I just, I know, I know we did bowling in literally the last episode, but I find it really fun and I thought it'd be perfect way for Maisie to spend her birthday but oh, doesn't she look so cute in this polka dot dress and this hair is just like so perfect for her she's so adorable she looks just how I expected but she does you know she has the exact same face but older which I know is what happens when you get older <laughs> but in the sims it doesn't always work that way they do look quite different sometimes but she literally looks the exact same and I love it I was gonna have her friends age up as well with the cake but someone has helped themselves it was Emma so I don't mind so much, I'll age them up off camera, but they will definitely be ready for when we go to our first day of high school on Monday. We'll also obviously have our cousins there as well. They're a little bit older than us, um, so I'm not sure if they'll be in the same class as us, but we'll definitely have our friends at least. Look at these four, oh, Ezra and his parents, I love it. And if only Jorge was here as well, this would be a really cute screenshot. I mean, it is still really cute, but it's a shame he's not standing with us. But Maisie is having her second go now. So let's see if she does just as well she did really well for her first ever go okay and then she drops it that time she's like oops and she gets another go at least and she threw that one really well but she's not very happy with it <laughs> look how big our family is now it's so great seeing everyone and how much older they're all getting i imagine it won't be too long until ethan ages up he was a toddler at the start of the series so I imagine he'll be a young adult soon oh my goodness it is literally his birthday um, I feel bad because we could have just aged him up with Maisie's cake, but people have started eating it. So again, I will just age him up off camera. Sorry, Ethan. This, we'll say it's like a joint birthday celebration for them both. Both Maisie and Ethan. I'm glad I checked <laughs> but I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, Valerie. It's probably because you're wearing these shoes. She's like, I am not wearing bowling shoes. I am keeping these heels on. I may be getting older, but... That is not gonna stop me. The party is almost over. I was hoping we'd finish our bowling games before it finishes, but I'm not too sure if we will. So I'm glad we definitely aged up crazy before we did some bowling. But I think this will be her final throw now. So let's see if she does any better. No, she got gutter ball. And yeah, there comes the rage. There comes her competitiveness. Oh my goodness. And it was Kyle's birthday too. He's just aged up into an elder. Oh, I wish I'd checked all these things because I could have had them all age up with cake, but I just didn't even think about it. At least he's come over to take a slice. He's like, it's my birthday too. I'm going to have some cake. Ezra won his game with a score of 63. Well done, Ezra. That's amazing. And I guess um, Maisie doesn't get to finish her game with her cousins because these two are heading off. I don't know if Orson's staying to finish it. It looks like Orson decided to stay and finish the game with us, which is really nice of him, although he did drop the ball on the floor. But I think he'll get another go 
joke because Maisie did. Here we go. This should be the final throw. And he actually did pretty well. We're getting a message. <laughs> Look him dancing. Oh, my, I love it. We're getting a message from Jenna saying happy birthday. She did come along, but we didn't really spend too much time with our friends. It was definitely more of a family thing. But, you know, we invited our friends along too as well. Um, but I will be making sure all of her friends have makeovers ready for Maisie starting high school. It won't be in the next episode because we've got the weekend. Um, but it'll be the one after, so she'll be completely ready for that. I'm not sure if I'll go to active high school with her every day, but I definitely want to on her first day at least. Oh, I think Maisie may have lost that game. Yeah, Orson won with a score of 29. Oh, that's not even that good. But Maisie, to celebrate your birthday, come and take a photo with your dad. Look at these two. Oh, they're so cute. I literally cannot believe she's a teenager. She's so gorgeous. Don't you dare ask Maisie how some other sim cheated her at bowling. It should be obvious. Oh my goodness. I love that she's still a sore loser. I think on this note, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope you like Maisie as a teenager. I'm so excited to see where her teen years take her. If you did enjoy this episode though, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It'll mean so much to me and I will speak to you all in another video. Bye everyone.